This is the blue-footed booby. It's a marine bird renowned for its striking azure-hued webbed feet, native to the tropical regions of the eastern Pacific. The blue is so vibrant that it almost seems to glow. Hello there, and welcome to Shima University. This guy living in Sydney is exploring the inner west when he comes across something wild. An entire mini box factory built into the wall. It's believed the entire factory was 3D printed and put up as an art display. There's even an area next to it that resembles a mini office filled to the brim with boxes. A new species of reptile found in Madagascar in 2021 is believed to be the smallest reptile species in the world. Known as Brookasia nana, or the nano chameleon, it's so tiny that it resembles the approximate size of a sunflower seed. The hooded Peter Hui from Papua New Guinea is the first scientifically confirmed bird to be poisonous. Its feathers and skin have a potent alkaloid toxin derived from the beetles they consumed from their diet. Handling one with your bare hands, like the unfortunate fellow you see on the screen, can result in skin irritation or worse. Yikes. This is a prototype for a robotic lawnmower. Though it appears to be zooming across the grass, the footage has been sped up because the actual robot cuts quite slowly. You may be surprised to learn that robotic lawnmowers are commercially available and operate very similar to this one, though many consider them fairly underpowered when compared to a proper lawnmower. A 46,000-year-old worm that was found in Siberian permafrost was rescued and taken back to a lab. There, it was defrosted and came back to life. Not only that, but it even started having babies. This is because the worm can perform a parthenogenesis, which doesn't require a mate. This thing sets a new world record for longest wait time before deciding to settle down and have kids. This is the satanic leaf-tailed gecko, native to Madagascar. They have a tail that looks exactly like a leaf, complete with vein-like markings. Unfortunately, these critters are currently threatened by habitat loss due to deforestation and the illegal pet trade. No, this peregrine falcon isn't an idiot. It's actually testing out its weapon systems. The falcon is considered a type of medium-sized raptor, renowned for their speed during hunting dives called stoops. They can reach speeds of 240 miles per hour while diving to catch prey, making them one of the fastest animals on the planet. This newborn giraffe isn't exactly sure what to do with its own neck as it's trying to fall asleep. Giraffes typically stand when sleeping as they're very vulnerable when laying on the ground. And even when they do, they will usually have their necks sticking up out of the grass, which makes for quite a sight. This guy decided he wanted to cut directly into this sus egg ball that he found. He soon discovered that it was an entire wasp nest. Wasps typically construct their nests from a papery substance made from chewing wood fibers and mixing them with their own spit. This creates adorable paper-like material that they use to build the nest cells and outer envelope. It bears mentioning, if you come across a wasp nest, don't do what this guy did. Just don't. Here is someone who captured their cacti as it bloomed with an array of flowers. This is a Trichocereus hybrid cacti, which is a cross of two different parents to form a new type of plant. This blooming cacti was quickly swarmed with flies, and the flowers lasted around 20 hours before they faded. The owner mentioned it had a mild fragrance with a sweet, pleasant smell. Although you may think these guys in Ukraine are training to become firefighters, it's actually training for a competition. Units come from different towns to compete in intense challenges like these against other teams. This clever Eurasian lynx steps out onto some thin ice, only to hear an audible crack. Though it sounds quiet to us, it would have been as loud as a gunshot to him. Instead of risking a quick dash across, it pauses and then decides to make a leap of faith. It's remarkable that the lynx is able to associate the cracking of ice to trouble and thus avoid it with a calculating leap. This mysterious purple disc found in the ocean is a living sand dollar, a type of not quite so spiky sea urchin. 
it is not a forbidden cookie for you to eat. Most of the sand dollars people usually find are white or grey because they're dead, as this one will be if it's not put back into the ocean pronto. This extremely light bicycle weighs less than 5 kilograms. It's designed this way to go faster and operate in a more agile manner than heavier bikes on hilly or mountainous routes. It's actually below the legal limit for weight on a bike, so it has been banned from all competitions. The material used to make this bike has even been made to create very light submarines. This is a curved water spout in the Kama River in Russia. It's formed when air spirals in a current over a body of water with a significant amount of vapor trapped inside. And no, you shouldn't jump in it. It's bad. This is an automatic door protector to prevent your car from hitting a wall or the parked car next to you. It's completely mechanical and it's just a spring and protector bit, so it has little chance of failing or interfering with the door. Nah, this screwdriver isn't magic. It follows something known as Bernoulli's principle, which states that within a flowing fluid, the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy per unit volume will remain constant along a streamline. It's actually the same principle that explains how aircraft wings generate lift, which uses the principle to create an upward force. This is what the microscopic hairs inside your ear look like. These things convert sound waves into electricity, which is exactly what your brain interprets as sound. Different hair cells are tuned to specific frequencies, which allows the inner ear to distinguish between different pitches or frequencies of sound. This futuristic disk is hovering in mid-air through a process known as quantum locking. This is when an icy superconductor is exposed to a magnetic field, and it appears to lock in place floating above a surface. It's even able to move in a circle around a table no matter what position you place it in. The only downside is the object needs to be near absolute zero temperature, so don't expect to see frictionless rail systems made out of these things. This person managed to capture the edge of a rain cloud approaching over a river. This edge line is visible because of the boundary between two air masses with different properties, such as temperature and humidity. Typically, one air mass is warmer and moister, while the other is cooler and drier. This difference in air density can create a visible boundary such as what you see here. Check out this bear coming out of what appears to be a long overdue hibernation. Her name is Chada, an elderly Himalayan bear rescued from a Russian circus. She's now at the White Rock Bear Sanctuary in Ukraine, and you might be surprised to learn she just simply looks like this every morning whenever she wakes up. That's all for now. Keep studying and I'll see you all in the next video.